the IBM Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator, called Mark I by Harvard University's staff, was a general-purpose electromechanical computer that was used in the war effort during the last part of World War II. The original concept was presented to IBM by Howard Aiken in November 1937. After a feasibility study by IBM engineers, Thomas Watson Sr. personally approved the project and its funding in February 1939. Howard Aiken had started to look for a company to design and build his calculator in early 1937. After two rejections, he was shown a demonstration set that Charles Babbage's son had given to Harvard University 70 years earlier. This led him to study Babbage and to add references of the analytical engine to his proposal. The resulting machine brought Babbage's principles of the analytical engine almost to full realization. While adding important new features, the ASCC was developed and built by IBM at their Endicott plant and shipped to Harvard in February 1944. It began computations for the U.S. Navy Bureau of Ships in May and was officially presented to the university on August 24, 1944. One of the first programs to run on the Mark I was initiated on 29 March 1944 by John von Neumann, who worked on the Manhattan Project at the time and needed to determine whether implosion was a viable choice to detonate the atomic bomb that would be used a year later. The Mark I also computed and printed mathematical tables, which was Charles Babbage's initial goal for his analytical engine. The Mark I was officially retired, after 15 years of service, in 1959. Design and Construction The ASCC was built from switches, relays, rotating shafts, and clutches. It used 765,000 components and hundreds of miles of wire, comprising a volume of 51 feet in length, 8 feet in height, and 2 feet deep. It weighed about 10,000 pounds. The basic calculating units had to be synchronized mechanically, so they were run by a 50-foot shaft driven by a 5-horsepower electric motor. From the IBM archives, the automatic sequence controlled calculator was the first operating machine that could execute long computations automatically. A project conceived by Harvard University's drive, Howard Aiken, the Mark I was built by IBM engineers in Endicott, NY. A steel frame 51 feet long and 8 feet high held the calculator, which consisted of an interlocking panel of small gears, counters, switches and control circuits, all only a few inches in depth. The ASCC used 500 miles of wire with 3 million connections, 3,500 multipole relays with 35,000 contacts, 2,225 counters, 1,464 10-pole switches and tiers of 72 adding machines, each with 23 significant numbers. It was the industry's largest electromechanical calculator. The enclosure for the Mark I was designed by futuristic American industrial designer Norman Bell Geddes. Aiken considered the elaborate case to be a waste of resources. Since computing power was in high demand during the war and the funds could have been used to build additional computer equipment. Contribution to the Manhattan Project Von Neumann joined the Manhattan Project in 1943, working on the immense number of calculations needed to build the atomic bomb. He showed that the implosion design, which would later be used in the Trinity and Fat Man bombs, was likely faster and more efficient than the gun design. In 1928 LJ, Comrie was the first to turn IBM punched card equipment to scientific use. Computation of astronomical tables by the method of finite differences, as envisioned by Babbage 100 years earlier for his difference engine. Very soon after, IBM started to modify its tabulators to facilitate this kind of computation. 
One of these tabulators built in 1931 was the Columbia Difference Tabulator. John von Neumann had a team at Los Alamos that used modified IBM punched card machines to determine the effects of the implosion. On 29 March 1944, he demanded to run certain problems regarding implosion on the Mark I. In early August 1944 he arrived with two mathematicians to write a simulation program to study the implosion of the first atomic bomb. The Los Alamos group completed its work in a much shorter time than the Cambridge group. However, the punched card machine operation computed values to six decimal places, whereas the Mark I computed values to 18 decimal places. Additionally, Mark I integrated the partial differential equation at a much smaller interval size, or smaller mesh, and so, achieved far greater precision. Operation the Mark I had 60 sets of 24 switches for manual data entry and could store 72 numbers, each 23 decimal digits long. It could do three additions or subtractions in a second. A multiplication took 6 seconds, a division took 15.3 seconds, and a logarithm or a trigonometric function took over one minute. The Mark I read its instructions from a 24-channel punched paper tape. It then executed the current instruction and then read in the next one. A separate tape could contain numbers for input, but the tape formats were not interchangeable. Instructions could not be executed from the storage registers. This separation of data and instructions is known as the Harvard architecture. At first, the Mark I had no conditional branch instruction. This meant that complex programs had to be physically long. A loop was accomplished by joining the end of the paper tape containing the program back to the beginning of the tape. Later modifications introduced program branching. The first programmers of the Mark I were computing pioneers Richard Milton Block, Robert Campbell, and Grace Hopper. Instruction Format The 24 channels of the input tape were divided into three fields of eight channels. Each accumulator, each set of switches, and the registers associated with the input, output, and arithmetic units were assigned a unique identifying index number. These numbers were represented in binary on the control tape. The first field was the binary index of the result of the operation and the second, the source datum for the operation. The third field was a code for the operation to be performed. Aiken and IBM Aiken published a press release announcing the Mark I listing himself as the sole inventor. James W. Bryce was the only IBM person mentioned. Even though several IBM engineers including Claire Lake and Frank Hamilton had helped to build various elements, Thomas J. Watson was enraged, and only reluctantly attended the dedication ceremony on August 7, 1944. Aiken, in turn, decided to build further machines without IBM's help, and the ASCC came to be generally known as the Harvard Mark I. IBM went on to build the Selective Sequence Electronic Calculator to both test new technology and provide more publicity for the company. Successes the Mark I was followed by the Harvard Mark II, Mark III, ADEC, and Harvard Mark IV, all the work of Aiken. The Mark II was an improvement over the Mark I, although it still was based on electromechanical relays. The Mark III used mostly electronic components, vacuum tubes and crystal diodes, but also included mechanical components rotating magnetic drums for storage plus relays for transferring data between drums. The Mark IV was all electronic, replacing the mechanical components with magnetic core memory. The Mark II and Mark III went to the U.S. Navy base at Algren, Virginia. The Mark IV was built for the U.S. Air Force, but it stayed at Harvard. The Mark I was eventually disassembled, although portions of it remain at Harvard in the Science Center. It is part of the Harvard Collection of Historical Scientific Instruments.